Jabo was playing keyboards and doing backing vocals and wearing some sort of see-through schmuck. And it was something else. And people didn't know what to make of it. People did not know what to make of it. But Jabo was brilliant. Secret Weapon and Attack Dog, both expressions Michael would use in interviews about me. And what it meant to me was the unexpected element. I remember the first time I opened a show singing, I was alone on the stage singing to a loop on my keyboard. It was like being a sacrifice, like a sacrificial lamb, and I actually kind of enjoyed that because it was a way of reflecting how strong I could be. And so it would be go out there cold alone and open the show. I'd be kneeling on my knees, you know, singing blackmail. To go out there in front of an audience, primarily male, that has come to be bludgeoned with loud, heavy, percussive music is uh, a very extreme place to be. Here you are, you're offering yourself, you're completely vulnerable to them. So coming out alone, woman, and singing to them, it's like they're being set up for what comes later. And I think in the case of those days, before I developed my own audience in the band, it made them angry. So I had things thrown at me, uh, yelling, spitting, um, every insult you could possibly hurl. Show us your tits was one of them. And I didn't miss a note, because the attitude was like, you're not gonna even phase me. I'm not gonna even react. <laughs> Now, Al reacted to it in England one time, and I heard these cowboy boots come stomping out, and he came up to the edge and started screaming at him. Shut the fuck up, shut up. And of course, I still continued to sing unfazed, you know, <laughs> unfazed by Al or by the audience. As a performer, you get really strong when you go through stuff like that. Chubba was a good foil for working alongside his intensity. I think she offered some more subtleties. You know, between them, there was uh, some light and shade. Uh-oh, we gotta go. This is American Top 40, my name's Casey.